I can turn something that's $2 into like 500 bucks. Holy shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Not a wet salt video, but a haul video. So me and my friend Kristen, she's a well-read wardrobe on Instagram and I think on YouTube. I think she changed it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, she's on, at least at least I know it's on Instagram. I forget that one every single time. Sorry, Chris. Anyway, so we went to Seattle instead of Everett. We usually go to Everett, but today, well, not today. It was a couple days ago now. Wednesday, we decided to go to Seattle since it's close to us. So um, I got a lot of great stuff. So I'm really excited. And let's start it off. So start off with some shoes. These are Timberlands and uh, they're like a regular checker boot. I'm learning not all of them have like this. I think this is an older model because it says the t Timberland Boot Company, which I don't know if this is just like a, a different um, division of them, but these ones don't seem to have another pair of shoes that don't have any kind of um, emblem on the outside. Here's the other one, but the bottoms look really great. And um, I'm like, they themselves look really great. So, and I don't mind picking up Chuckas because they're, they're doing good, good right now. So that's going to be loud. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So these are together. Sorel, and these are going to need a little bit of cleaning up. But the bottoms look pretty good. Um, the leather looks good. It just needs to be clean. So what I'll do is I will take these to my bathtub and I will give them a little bath. And then I will put them in front of my fireplace and let them dry out. So, oh, and I could not leave these little fuzzy slippers behind. I think they might be my size. I think they may. I mean, I have slippers, but look, they're a little, I think they're little bunnies. Aren't they cute? Anyway, they are steep Madden, so they're not anything like spectacular, although, oh, huh. So it's backwards on here. Okay. I wonder if I can fix that. I'm on Zoom. I wonder if I can fix that and make it mirror. Do that. Right. Um, Video settings. Mirror my video. Oh, there we go. Now if I hold Steve Madden up. It says Steve Madden. Okay. There we go. So it just, I needed to mirror it. So now you can see Steve Madden. Um, I think these might be for me. I think they might be my size. Let's, um, I don't know. I can't really tell. Okay. Well, we'll put those over there, but okay. These ones are Kohan. Now Kohan, I don't pick up. Well, at the bins, I pick up more things than I would do on a regular thrift store, but I really like these. They are like a, um, metallic goldish, not really gold, I guess a gold, but kind of bronzy color. So, and they're a good size too. They're 11. So 11 is a good size. And like I said, in my last what sold video, if you haven't seen it, go ahead. I know I linked it in the beginning. So, and then I, linked, I, I will link it in the beginning. I haven't yet done that yet because I'm just recording this, whatever. Okay. So, um, these are the insides a little bit chewed up. Didn't realize that at the time. Oops. Well, they're Stuart Weitzman, but the inside is a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Stuart Weitzman, you can kind of see, but the inside is a little bit like it's flaking. But I do have some stuff. I wonder if I can just put it on there to stop it from flaking the rest of the way. Um, I thought they were cute. Yeah. What size are they? Did I even notice? Yeah, eight and a half. I thought they were cute, but if I can't uh, fix the inside, then I will be re donating those, which is kind of sad because I thought they were very cute. Um, Sam Edelman which these need a bath. So I saw that they have like this water damage in the beginning. So what I'll do is I will like clean the whole shoe. I have some suede cleaner and that should take care of it. Um, I've done that with Uggs. The bottoms look pretty good. These are a size seven and a half. Oh, so these are my size. These are my, so I might going on vacation in a few days for like four days. So I might just kind of use these while I'm on vacation. I don't know. It depends on how cold it's going to be. We're going down to Oregon. We live in Washington state. We're going down to Oregon. So I, it's going to, it's been raining forever. I feel like, and I feel like it's probably going to keep raining when we're down there. All right. So these are Vagabond. Um, so I, I think these are pretty good. I know the boots do better. These are like some leather suede slides. Let's see if I can, I'm out of practice of this because it's been a hot minute since I've done it. Oh yeah. And, and like one fingernail is partially, uh, partially painted and the rest aren't. So whatever, <laughs> someone inevitably is going to make a comment about my nails. Oh, well. Sad for you if you need them to be beautiful for people to be showing stuff. I don't, I don't really care, but and I'm not going to apologize for it either, but I think it's really funny because they did have them done. They had schlack on them and they 
all the shellac came off probably because I'm cleaning shoes a lot. And so I use a lot of solvents and yeah, I should be using gloves. Anyway, these are Mark Fisher. So Mark Fisher, I know it's not the best brand in the world, but I really like these um, espadrille sandals and their wedges and they're in good condition. They'll get like 30, about 30, 30, maybe $40, usually around the 30 dollar mark um, which i don't mind if i get it from the bins honestly this is bandolino which is not a fantastic brand but i do like the shoe and it's uh kind of like ooh, okay back here i guess ribbed it's it's showing kind of blue but they're are they blue i think they're black nope they're navy blue why oh, they're showing up that way anyway so these are size they won 5.99 at the thrift store i got them for cheaper than that because i got them at the bins which is a dollar 79 a pound for shoes and for clothes oh did i not look at a size prior to picking them up <laughs> is there no size in here i'll be i'll be mad oh yeah i'm stupid is there size oh no there's a size okay there's a size i think they're eight and a half Okay. Oh, it's hot in here. I'm wearing a sweater and these lights are hot. Okay. Via Spiga. These are cute. I like, I liked the cutout. I think these are sold at Nordstrom. These need a little bit of work to be made beautiful again. They're made in Italy. I think these are a 10. So yeah, they're a little bit chewed up in the front, which I will have to fix a little bit, which I think I can. Well, I guess they're being redonated, but I don't think I'll have to. Not normally. Okay. And I thought these were cool, these boots. Um, these are, who are you? Oh, they're Michael Michael Kors. So they're not like anything like spectacular, but I thought they were cool. They're a nice tall boot. These are knee length boots. This is, they're, for, they're size six. So they're a tiny size, but um, textile leather upper. Okay, so, oh, there's leather too. So it is suede. Okay, cool. I wonder what textile part is. Maybe this, the cording? Or is this the leather part and this is textile? Um, yeah, I think this is the leather part and this is the textile part. Oh, well. But, you know, they might do okay. I mean, I paid $2 for them or less. Actually, I paid $2.04 each item because I already I knew how much I spent and I knew how much, um, I knew how much, how many items I got. So these are Franco Sardo. I think these are men. Um, or maybe not. Maybe they are women's, but they are a bigger size. They are, they are leather upper. They are size 13. So actually they might be women because I think 13 men's would be bigger, right? No, it would be smaller. So yeah. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Maybe I'll have my husband try them on and see if they fit his feet. If they fit his feet and they're probably men's, but because he's a size 12 and a half, 13. But yeah, maybe they are women's. I, I hate it when they don't say. I like it when they say woo or men's or whatever. Oh, they're Barbara. They're women. Okay. I don't need my husband to try them on. The name off sometimes will give it away. So going on with shoes some more. These are Lucky Brand. So I like the detail on the zipper detail. Uh, and they're really soft. So I think these are, um, they are size 12. So yes, again, a bigger size, which I think will do well. The bigger sizes generally do. And the bottoms look good. The leather looks good. And that's really all you can really ask. Um, and there's be a size inside. Lucky Brand again. Um, I don't think I need to show you the, see the bottom there, the LB, which kind of looks like GE's logo a little bit. These are size nine, just a pair of brown boots. Should do okay. Okay. I like these. I don't think these are my size, or I, I think I might keep them because they were cute. They're cute. No, they're size seven, which I generally were about size seven and a half. I'll try them on. Maybe I'm a seven in bands, but I like the cherries. They need to be cleaned a little bit though. I do like the cherries. Um, these are Dansko. They need some beautification, but the bottoms look good. I twisted them so they're not dry rotted. And, but the, they need some help up in the front, which is going to be easy to do. That? There was like a cotton ball inside there. Okay. Free cotton ball. Another pair of Danskos. They're black and they're, um, they're, in, they're in actually better shape. So I think, Dance goes, I think it could usually get about 40 for you. These are, these need some cleaning. These will need a spa day. They are Ariat. The other one looks exactly the same. Um, and they need a definite spa day. And the last one, I guess you don't need to see both. This is a Zara Man, but they're double bunk strap. So I got this and I'm going to like, you know, clean it up. So more shoes. There's more shoes here. I think that will be done with the shoes. These are Franco Sardo too, as well. 
They're size seven and a half. These are my size, but I don't think they'd fit me in the upper calf unless they're wide, which I don't have like wide calves, but they make them so tiny. So they're L Rider boots. They're nice boots though. They fit me. I might wear them for a while. Who knows? All right. And then I got these. These are Earth, which Earth and Earthies, I think are the same company. I think they used to not be. These need to be cleaned up and I'm going to have to recolor them with um, some dye which I don't mind doing. It needs a lot of cleaning up though. Oh, and I ended up getting a bunch of these little shoe trees. They were in the, um, what are they called shoe trees? Anyway, they were in the bins. So I got them so I can, they work better for like men's shoes, like men's dress shoes. You put them inside and it gives them a nice form so you can redo them. So I got a bunch of those. Okay, so moving on to rest buying these. One second, I'm gonna speed this up. All right, so I love this little number. It is Chelsea 28. I think it's sold at Nordstrom Rack, but it's a size 16. And it's black, but um, hello, look at that little um, embellishment. There's really nothing in the back. All right. Oh, yeah, it sucks. I wonder if I can better light. I don't know. We'll see. So I like that. I'm actually going to put that over my chair because I don't want the, the feathers to get all messed up. So, oops. Put over my chair right here. All right. Oh, I got this little tiny Mad Matilda Jane. Is it Matilda Jane? Yeah, serendipity. Um, Matilda Jane dress. It was so cute. I couldn't help myself. And I think, is it Lori's Boston Found that picks up Matilda Jane all the time? Or maybe she only picks up the adult stuff. I don't know. I mean, I watch her stuff. I should know this, right? But I forget. I watch a lot of people. So I think that's why I forget. I forget who said it. Anyway, this is Anthropology. It's an older tag. Edme and S. S. Asil. Asil. I don't know how to say that. So you tell me. Anyway, I thought it was really cute. So it's like a, it's like a little halter dress. I really liked the print. The print looked really cool. And it is a size two, a size tiny is what that is, but it's cute. Um, I found this. I like this. This is made well. I think we've all seen the Madewell tag, but I'll show it anyway. And it is a, I think it's a mini dress. Yeah, I think it is a mini dress, but it's like this crushed velvet and it's in like this pink color. I really like it. Oh yeah, this dress is new tag and it's by Anthropology. So I think this is their newer tag. These comp, this comp comp's actually pretty good. Like anywhere from uh, like 80, 80 or $70, some of them comped at. There wasn't too many that's been sold that's new with tag. So I might be okay. And this is a large, so it's a pretty good size. So it's not like a size two and you have to like wait for the right small child. Not child, small person. <laughs> I mean, two is really tight. Um, I'll have to edit that out. Okay, pink tartan, which I'd never heard of this brand before. This is a size 12, but it's really cute. I thought it's just a really cute fit and flare dress. It has pockets. So hello, pockets. Has a zip down the back. And it's just like really nice. I think it's a probably a knee length. Yeah, it goes to my knees. I'm sure I'm 5'1". So if you're a size 12 and 5'1", this will go actually past your knees. <laughs> if you're tall and normal size, not hobbit size like I am, then uh, it might actually go to your knees. But I thought that was nice. I'm going to put holiday in the title. So, you know, maybe someone will buy it for holiday. I'm going to have to list this stuff. Pronto. Um, also, I need to list it. I want to get as much list as I can before I go on my vacation because, yeah. Okay. This is Flawless. I don't know who sells this brand. So if you are familiar with this or is this like a, on its own kind of thing, if you're familiar with this, let me know. But I like it because it's like a pant, pantsuit type thing. And it's like a, wow, it's the color is not coming across on this webcam very well. So it's, it's a, it's a navy blue, not this electric blue. Yeah. My, my can uh, webcam does not do things justice. Anyway, I thought it was really cute. So this is a wrap. It wraps around. It wraps in front. It'll look better like on the hanger. Okay. So this is to uh, West Key. West Key. I think it's West Key. West Kai. I don't know. I think it's West Kai. It's just a simple dress, but I liked it. It's, uh, I like how it goes, you know, the different patterns, just like one of those lounge dresses. And this is also made well. Oop, choke two in the right way. Made well again. Just a cute little shift dress. Yeah, could be a dress. Cross or a tunic, whatever. This is old tag made. Um, they change their tags a lot, but there's been a lot of tags uh, for this brand. And it's anthropology. This is a size zero. So it's also small. 
And some of this I will probably put in a clip lot and some of this I will sell on my own. Um, I'm probably going to put like some of the more like basic things like this. Probably this dress will end up going um, in, in a flip lot, but I'll keep, you know, the stuff that the A, they won't take or things I think won't, you know, be enough to really justify the need to flip. To person on flip, this is ASOS and it's a size 16. So it's a pretty good size. It's like a embroidered Western dress. I really love this embroidery. So pretty. And then the back, you know, has the, the Western stripe, I guess. So I think this would look good with some cowboy boots, some black ones. I can see that selling. I can see that selling for like $25. This I think might be vintage. Burger du Nord. So you tell me, I gotta look it up. Burger du Nord. Du Nord. Um, it is a size, well, the UK is a 10. So it's probably a size six. They're about four sizes bigger. Yeah. So it's a smocked back. So it's probably 90s, but has these great golden buttons. You can get it up there. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So I like the print. I think this will do well. Do a little research. You tell me if you recognize it, please. That would be much appreciated. This is just regular Calvin Klein. Um, I do like to pick up Calvin Klein dresses, especially when they're like size 14 and they're a true wrap. Oh, this I couldn't help myself. So H&M, I will pick it up if it came from another country. So this is a size uh, six, just a regular H&M tag. This came from Colombia. So I like, I think it's a cute dress, high neck. And I love this open back. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I'm hopeful. Hopeful. I'm hopefully. I'm hopefully. What the hell kind of word is that? I'm hoping someone will also love it. It has a slit up the side. I think it's only one side. Yep. One side slip and a little seven. There's some bike or some videos or something. This is what is this? This is Zara. Zara, I sometimes I just want to pick up some. some Zara pieces I think are worth picking up. So um yeah. So it has these straps. It has this strap. I think this goes, I don't know, does it tie in the back? It must because it has these on the side. It must tie in the back. And it's just a white right basically. As far as I can tell, I had no stains, but I'll have to look it over again under these, these lights, which are hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is Ghani. So I, I found this dress and I think this is actually going to be pretty good money. I don't know. I need to do some research on this brand, but I did some, you know, some, uh, cursory research and yeah, it sells for quite a bit originally. So, um, I like this damask print and it has some ruching down the side. It's a good shape and it is a size made in Turkey. Maybe it says down here. Maybe that's the problem. It has a size. I think I looked at it before though, and it did have a size. If not, I will estimate it. Like things that I think are worth money. Oh, it's large. So it has large on the inside. Yay. So, oh, it's anthropology. Cause it says anthropology program. You can read that. And program is like not the American three, three, two, seven, three, Monica. Okay. Um, so it went to another country, I believe maybe France. It's how they spell program. Anyway. So I like this dress. That was cool. I think it might be pretty good money. A few things in here I think might be okay money. Actually, this is free people. It's a small, of course, always small, but it's cute. I like this dress. It's really cute. One of those is this also a trapeze dress, swing dress? I think it's probably a swing dress. It has this like open back or keyhole back. It's pretty print. And the last dress, which is cloth, but oh no, I'm sorry. It's Ann Taylor. It's Ann Taylor. It's a size eight, size eight Ann Taylor, but is a hundred percent silk. So I will pick up hundred percent silk dresses. Um, even by this brand, I do like the bow detail and the little keyhole front and it's a cute polka dot, tiny micro dot. I think, it, I think this is called micro dot, uh, not the drug. <laughs> Maybe it's not micro dot. Maybe I'm just making that up. Okay. You tell me, you tell me if I just made that up. Okay. So I'm going to put this floor over here. Totally run out of space in my office. Okay. That's already done. Okay. So see what's in this bag. I put it in here. Oh, it's a bunch of like accessories. Okay. This felt is not a hundred is not real leather. It's pleather, but I really love the snake has some jewels in the snake has zero maker. Well, not zero maker. It just, it just hadn't have like a maker. It's just a generic belt and I couldn't help myself. So I got it. Um, this is a, I think it's an unbranded like scarf. I like to pick up these things. I thought it looked cool. You know, I like this woven look. So I thought, you know, kind of lagging look, maybe vibes, maybe this is new attack and it is, um, I find scars that are new attack do better. This is land's end. And what is the material is it? It's 
I think it's from 2NA20, but I don't know if it tells me what's, what are you made out of? Probably acrylic. It's 100% acrylic, but it's not, it's really soft. Just a, a nice basic scarf. This is, I think this did have a maker. It's pink and it's sparkly. I thought it looked cute. Uh, yeah, it's Calvin Klein. So it is used, it is Calvin Klein, but I don't I think maybe $15 for this maybe. We'll see. Oh, this is just like a remnant, but it is a remnant of a, I believe a vintage, vintage remnant. So someone might want this like for quilting or something. It is countryside cotton polyester blend. I don't know. I'll have to look, look, do some research on it, but I thought the, it was a cool, like little farm scene. I, I like this scarf. I might actually keep this one. I don't know yet. Has no maker. I have no idea what it's made out of. It feels like it could be cashmere it's cute i like how colorful it is but i might sell it this okay i don't know who made that and maybe you will recognize the tag but i don't know i have i don't recognize it i'm not sure if anyone else will so you tell me if you recognize it first of all but to me this i think this is silk it feels like silk and it feels like painted silk so i think it's really pretty what do you think it's like lily pads and it's pa painted you can kind of feel that it's not like real rough but you know how silk painted silk feels like right yeah, has that different feel to it. This, I don't think I have any idea who made it. I just really like the print on it, basic print. So, okay. I will pick up things like that. And I picked up this bag. It is leather. It smells like leather. I do not think this is the original uh, strap with it, but it's a good like weekender bag, which I probably will use it for my upcoming vacation. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Um, okay, I'll shove this under here for, ah, no, no, no. Things are falling over on me. It's not pretty. Okay. Oh, these over here. Ooh, do them. Let's do some coats. Do some coats, and then I'm gonna have to like pile these up somewhere over there. Okay. This I thought looked cool. So you tell me if you recognize this brand, Asmara. So it's a it's a coat, but it's like a coat for if you have a baby strapped to you, like a little toddler or a baby. So it's a little hood for the kid. I mean, it has no like hookups in in here. But I wonder if you can zip this out and like zip it. Or it only works with this. I don't know. But I thought that was cool. And yeah. So if you uh, are, I'm not acquainted with these kind of coats because I don't have any kits. So I think it's interesting. It does zip up the rest of the way, but not with this attached. So I think like you can un take this out and then zip it as a normal coat as well. This is, oh, just under armor, just a hoodie. I pick up basic hoodies. People like them. I like putting out myself and I got another kid's item. It's a little Spider-Man coat. It's so cute, but it's Disney. So uh, is it Disney Park? I don't think it is, but it is two. So I'm 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 thinking two T, right? I don't have kids, so help me out. But I like that it's quilted. So I think this would probably do okay. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that one. Uh, this is Lanzan, but Lanzan is a pretty good. I will pick up some pieces from it. I thought this was cute. This was a Sherpa hoodie. It's not a hoodie. Sherpa, it's a medium, so 10, 12. Uh, we call it Sherpa fleece, fleece, Sherpa fleece, pullover, whatever you want. All right. Oof, water. So, wait, this needs a spa day. It needs some serious spa treatment. But how awesome is this? And I love these, like, giant, like, buttons. They look like donuts. Embroidered donuts. But, oh my God, this is amazing. And I can't tell what... I can't, I can't tell what the brand was. All I could read is like an S at the end. So if you recognize this brand, let me know. I don't think there's another tag in here anywhere. Um, but I was like in love and I just love oh, someone's tissues. Okay. Thank you for your tissue. Like sometimes people put like the, the tag in here when they got it. I don't know but it's well used. So I'm going to have to put soak this in some, uh, what do you call it? That stuff. OxyClean. Have that all cleaned up. All right. Ooh. Okay. This was in my maybe pile and I checked out with it. So um, it's in my yes pile apparently. And this is um, that Fox, whatever it is, but Sasquatch. So it looks like it was a, a collaboration or is this a line of this box, whatever it has, you know, some faux fur lining. So it's a pretty like sturdy um, soft shell hoodie. So I think it'd be pretty warm and like, it's all, yeah, it's all lined with this fake fur. So if you know that brand, I'm going to do some research on that label. You let me know. I saw this beautiful coat in this lime green color it is by Samuel Dong. Okay. So these coats, and this is a size small. So these coats go for a pretty good amount. Like they sell for like 
This is like a bubble. This is a bubble trench. And uh, these go for a couple hundred dollars new, like two, three hundred dollars new. And they had at first I was like, oh, it doesn't have its belt. Then I look over, oh, it does have a belt. It just wasn't attached. So I tied it around its waist and it has some makeup on the inside, which I don't think it'll be hard to get off. Um, yeah, so I have this stuff that's actually pretty good for that. Um, if I don't want to wash something, but sometimes it leaves a little bit of a ring. So then I end up washing it, but um, not always. So that's a cool dress. I think that one, I'm thinking I'll be able to get at least $50 for, but I really kind of hope I get around 75, but 50 might be asking a bit 50 might be the, the more reasonable, not reasonable, but the more like probably what I'll get. Okay. <laughs> this was also my maybe pile, but then I checked out with it. So it ended up in my yes pile. Class yeah. Class yeah. Okay. So if you recognize this coat. It's cool though. It's cool. I I do like how cool it looks. So it's like a, it, yeah, it's, it's interesting. So it has a hood and it has like these coat tails on the end of it. And oh, guess what? These, I think button here. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me button this and then let's see if I'm right. Yeah. You can make it a smaller, a shorter coat that way. Interesting. All right. So yeah, it has these buttons on the back, kind of like a gesture anyway. I thought it looked cool. Hopefully it's a good frame. Okay. I'm not going to save this to last because this is kind of awesome. I saw this in a bin. It is leather. It feels, it smells like, it smells like the bins, but, um, yeah, I saw this and I'm like, this looks really cool. And then I Googled people of the labyrinth. Okay, this shit's expensive. Okay. Originally, this was probably $500. Originally, I believe they are, um, I don't know if they're being, oh yeah, they are still being made. I don't know if this is vintage or not. So help me out if you know. But how beautiful is this jacket? So it's kind of like, these are all handmade. These are all hand painted. Um, and that's why they cost so much. They're made by people in Norway. Um, I think it's Norway. They have very Norwegian sounding names. Uh, the people who, it's two guys. Anyway, so it's a, I mean, if I had to guess, this is a probably a small or extra small. I will do my measurements. There's no, um, there's no size anywhere on there. Like this is literally the only tag that's on there anywhere that I could see. Um, oh yeah, no. It's like, is that a remnant of a tag? No, it's not. So I don't know. And I think some pieces were made for celebrity. So I got to do a lot of research and see, was this one of those pieces? Because if so, I mean, people are selling these pieces like for, they're trying to sell them for like 500 to a thousand dollars. Like some people are selling them for cheaper, but most people that I can see right now, um, trying to sell these and some people got pretty good money. Like, so I'm wondering if I can get about $500 for this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to throw it up on auction and make it like at minimum $300. Cause I'd be happy with $300, but I have to take some measurements, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of torn. So I gotta do a lot, a lot more research for this, but I thought, how cool is this? Right. And the stitching is awesome. I love the stitching. Um, and it all looks pretty uniform. I don't think this is probably faked or anything like that but it's beautiful and it's leather. Cause I looked it up. Do they, do they use pleather? Cause it, I don't know it feels like leather, but you know, sometimes you just don't know. Cause sometimes fake leather feels like leather. Um, but no, it's real. Cause they only use the finest ingredients according to their website. So I'm going to believe them. I'm excited about that coat. I was like, holy crap. That is, that would pay for my, like I spent 200 and how much I spent $272. So we went in and we got a bunch of shoes. Then we took all our shoes out, checked out, took our shoes out, put them in the car, came back with our carts and got some clothes and some more shoes because they, they did a rotation on shoes. So I got 134 items. So it makes my cost of goods $2.04 each. But I can turn something that's $2 into like 500 bucks. Holy shit. That'd be great. That would be fantastic. Oh, more shoes. Okay. Yeah. More shoes. Cool. I was like, I thought we weren't done with shoes. Anyway, so these are Aldo. So Aldo, I think can make some pretty good shoes. Um... I think, I, are they sold at Nordstrom? Is that why that they can sometimes sell? I mean, I sold a pair of Aldo boots for like $58. So these are a tall heel. So I don't know if I'll get $58, but if I got like 40 bucks for these, I'd be right. These are cute. These are reaction Kenneth Cole, but I love, love, love this embroidery on the back. And it's a uh, suede, suede upper. What size are you? You are a, oh, guess what size they are. I might be wearing this for a little, they're a loop sparkle, seven and a half. That's my, size. um, yeah, I actually might need to wear these for a little bit. I like, 
I like them. They're cute. Okay. These are Hannah Anderson. She makes shoes. I don't know. It's not, is that really a woman? But I thought they're cute. The bottoms look good. They're a little dirty, but the bottoms look good. The bottoms are both Um, but yeah, they're good. Okay. So who knows? Michael, Michael Kors. That's the diffusion line, not their high-end line that made in Italy. Um, <clears throat> this is probably made in China. Yes, it is. Uh, leather upper rubber outsole, and these are six size six. So they're a cute wedge sandal. So I thought, why not? I mean, two bucks, why not? Uh, worst case scenario, I'm sending that to someone on a flip and they can sell it for me. These are made well. So I find it like so hard to read the labels, especially if it's worn for a little bit. Uh, these are a size, hopefully, I don't think I checked. Okay. Yeah, they do. They are a size, oh, they use that shimmery, like gray. Do you not show the size? But, oh, come on. Spring of 2019. Oh, you're going to give me the style name, but not the size? Really? Oh, that sucks. Maybe this size will ha- side will have a size. Is it the bottom? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. It have a size. So I get to divine what size these were. Oh, they're nines. Ha. Huh. Because it's very faint on the back here. Okay, yeah. Still very faint. They're size nine. But they're in good shape. They need some cleaning, but they're in good shape. The leather's good. They need a little bit of uh, shoe polish there, and that'll make it darken it right up, and it'll be like, it's fine. It'll be like it never faded. Uh, these are Teva which I think is a good brand. So um, I believe these boots will do okay. Bombs look good. See the Tiva. Ooh, got a lot of, there we go. Got a lot of shade coming from the light over there. Okay, so these are Sarto, Franco Sarto. So this is the Diffusion line. These are size eight and a half. They're just some leather um, shoes to do okay. These are, what are you? Timberland. So these are Tim's. Um, they're in good shape. They need a lot of cleaning up. And so I need to clean up the leather. But once I'm done cleaning up the leather, it'll look pretty good. And these are a size men's, I'm sure, eight and a half. They need some cleaning on the inside. They need a spa day inside and out. All right. Okay. So we're almost done shoes. These are Aston Gray. Like these aren't like fantastic. They're about 50 bucks when I looked it up. Um, these are a size nine. So they're a men's like desert chucka boot. So, I mean, they weren't terrible on the comps, but they weren't like amazing. 50 bucks is fine. This is also Franco Sarto. I really like this metallic. Like it is not blotchy. Like it's showing up. It's a t- metallic. Yeah. You see it. Um, it's a heel boot. They are size, some small, some small size. Okay. Okay. So oh, what size are you? Holy shit. How many times can I drop this shoe? I'm trying to like look underneath. Okay. Oh no. Is there no size? Oh, there is. I'm just looking at the wrong place. Eight and eight. they're eights. They're size eight. Okay. And size eight. This does stretch. So and oh yeah, I was really excited about these. Oh yeah, and they're hooked together. Oh my god. Okay. Shit's falling over. These are. This is the first time finding this brand, Red Wing. If you can read it, can you read it? There you go. Red, re- red, red wing shoes. Say that three times fast. But I mean, they need, they need a bath, but they're good. They're in good shape. I think they're steel toed, but yeah, they're work boots. So once I give them a little bath, they will be good as new or good as gently used. And they are a size 12. Yeah, USA 12. So you are a size 12 man or like to wear size 12 men's shoes, um, hopefully they get up pretty fast. All right, Ooh, on to sweaters. Yeah, sweaters and tops are what's left. So, oh, I have this empty bag behind me. It's hot in here, hot. Okay, power through this, right? How many recording? Tell me how long it's been recording. No, I have no idea. Okay, this is, I believe, 100% cashmere. It's Nordstrom collection, extra small. It stretches though. Is it cashmere? Because it feels like cashmere. I look, yeah, 100% cashmere. I look for holes. I will look again. And I do, I do a pretty, I do a pretty good check in, in the bins. Sometimes I miss stuff. If it's like one little tiny hole, I will fix it. And then I'll disclose that I fixed it. The bag down there. This I thought was really cool looking. And I don't know what brand this is, but I think it might be good. It is, you can tell me how good this is. Kudabo? Copenhagen. Uh, is that Copenhagen? Co- Copen. Yeah, I hope Copenhagen. Oh, Copenhagen is in Sweden? No, Norway. Okay, geographically, we're going to look this up. Copenhagen. Denmark. Okay. 
So this is from Denmark. Copen it's, let's look this up. Cootie ball. What would this be? A wrap? Shawl? Shawl. I'm gonna say wrap. I don't know, I have to do some research. Never mind. Uh need a scarf. Yeah, because it has a cootie ball, Copenhagen scarf. No. Oh, people are trying to get a hundred dollars for those on Poshmark or on Truva, 227. Okay, maybe that will be pretty good. Gotta do a little bit more. It's DEA Cuda Ball. So I gotta see if that's the same thing. I don't know if it had like a RN number. I don't know if they even do those in that country. Dry clean only. I don't even think it ha- told me like what it is, but it feels like, like, it feels like it's probably like a mohair cashmere type of blend. Anyway, that might be better than I expected. I just thought it looked cool. So I was like, oh, I'm picking you up. Okay, this is not probably a great brand, but I really loved this style of sweater. So, and I think a lot of other people like this style. It's Love Cameron Los Angeles. Like this tag needs to be cleaned. So Love Cameron Los Angeles. I don't think it's a great brand, but look at the back, the twist back. So cute. I mean, maybe, maybe 25 bucks. This needs some cleaning up. Um, Cynthia Raleigh cashmere. I only picked it up because it's hundred percent cashmere. Um, but it needs some depilling, which will be easy to do. I didn't see any holes though. So no moth bites, which is great. And it has this cool like front clasp. So this goes on around the front. So it like stays in place. Um, it's a medium, but it, I feel like it's oversized, but I'll clean that up. List it. I think you'll do okay. Okay. Remember what I said? I'm not going to get pants. Yeah. Uh, 11Zs. I said that in my last video that I released on Friday, which I might release if I get this edited, I might release this on Saturday or Sunday, one of those two, because I'm recording this on Friday. But these are some slacks, but I might um, actually send these to put these in. A, I'll see if I can put them in a flip lot. If I can, then I'll send them to someone on flip and then they can sell them for me. And if I get like, you know, $10 for them, that's cool. Cause I mean, honestly, if I get $10 from anything, like that's all I'm trying to make like profit wise. Like if I make a $10 or an $8 profit, get my $2 cog back and then make an $8 profit, then yeah, I'm doing great. I mean, obviously I want to make more than that, but these are lucky brand. These are sweet and low. So they're kind of a low rise, but which it's a boot, is it boot cut or flare? It's one of those two, but um, yeah, size eight or 29. So not, not a bad size. There you go. Okay. Oh, these are cute. These are, I don't mind picking up this brand. Uh, Laundry by Shelly Seagal. So I really thought these are cute. These are some cute palazzo pants. Are they palazzo pants? They might not be wide enough. They might be just straight leg or wide. Are these considered a wide leg? But I really like the contrast and pattern. And then here's the back. Someone might like those. Okay, this needs a little bit of cleaning up, but it is a uh, world-class ink, handmade in Ecuador. Is it Ecuador? No. What is it? Oh, I think it might be Ecuador. Anyway, so that's the label. Last time I got something that was that said like hand knit in the title i was able to sell it for 55 dollars uh 60 percent cotton 40 percent wool the other one was 100 percent wool it is oh it can't it, oh yeah it's ecuador i'm like in, in candor no ecuador yeah I, I had it right so yeah so maybe i really like like the balls on it i like its ball it sounded bad but look cool i like it i can see someone paying like 50 60 dollars for that we'll see we'll see if someone will um naf 100 silk trousers they say large i think they're they're high-waisted obviously they have a really large long rise um i need to look that up and see naf silk i thought they were naf but naf is like a ski brand naf naf oh yeah see they are naf 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 let's see what people are trying to sell naf naf for probably not a lot oh it's vintage 90s so oh, maybe i can get a bit uh i'm gonna look at sold real quick uh, maybe not well i don't know some there's some naf naf french coveralls vintage workwear jumpsuit went for 225 dollars on Poshmark. so i don't know about these pants pants are probably a harder sell but we will see i mean some people sold them for four dollars but yeah if i find the jumpsuit though i could probably make a mint i don't know the, I have two pairs. So I have these and I have these, both large. Maybe I'll lot them together. Yeah. Maybe I'll lot them together and sell them as a set. And maybe that will be more enticing. They are 100% silk. So I figured they're a premium fabric, even though I hadn't heard of them before. So now that I see this vintage. Okay. So this is BLVD. I'm not sure if this is a good brand or not, but I liked the sweater. It felt nice. Um, it's an open front cardigan 
and it is acrylic polyester. So I mean, it might not be a great brand. It's medium large though. So I don't know, but it looked cozy. It feels nice and it looks cozy. I think it would be cozy. Okay, more pants, more pants. These are Anthropology or Cartoonet and uh, yeah, they're just regular like city. What are those called? Like the city something kind of pant. Oh, what does it say on here? Maybe it'll tell me. Well, this one's the Charlie Crop Flare. So yeah, I'm thinking of J. Crew. They have a city one called City Something. And it's a, it has Prince Side or something like that. <clears throat> okay. I have a jumpsuit that I think is actually vintage. We'll see. This is like an underskirt and it's Petite Land Lanes. Petite Lands. Uh and made in the USA. Tells me it's probably made in the 80s. Cotton, polyester, size four. This is like this is an underskirt that you would wear underneath a skirt. And you'd want this to show like the skirt would come down to here. Maybe there. Maybe. Tell me if I'm wrong on that. Tell me if I'm way off. Okay. So this, I found this. So I thought this look was really cool. So it's a high waisted jumpsuit and it is to show it. It's the vintage shop. <laughs> I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it's in the title. Uh, size small. Maybe it's vintage. And you tell me is I have to do some research, but if you know off the top of your head, um, I like them. So hopefully somebody else will like them too. Bring them back in here. These are level 99, although I'm going to have to patch these, but I thought they're high waisted. So I thought they'll do well. They are skinny. But look, did not notice this in the store. What I'm going to do, I will patch both sides and then I'll disclose it. So it'll have a patch, but I'm going to leave that hole. There. So people like the stress. So maybe someone's looking for that. I've sold jeans that had patches like the previous owner put the patch in and they sell just fine. So as long as the patch is there and it's like intact, some people actually like that style. They don't want to necessarily show, but these are, and I'm not sure these are real or not. I'm trying to button them. Juicy couture jeans made in the glamorous USA. Size 25. Maybe. These have nothing wrong with them though. So juicy couture jeans. You tell me if these are vintage. I'm not sure if they are or not, but guess what they are? They are boot cut or flare. So I think they're probably boot cut. They look like they weren't. They look like the original hem. Um, so yeah. And this is what the back looks like. I like the like starburst. I think they look cool. Tell me if this is vintage. I would like to know. I don't know how to tell you there. I don't have a lot of, um, I don't have a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, experience with Juicy Couture. I'm sure I've seen it fake a few times. These are also, those are size 26. They're we the free. They were just sitting in the shoe bin. I'm like, oh, okay. They're a button fly. And they are not, they're not the butterfly that shows. They're a button fly. They look like they're like a wedgie type. They're like a skinny. They have like this on their uh, 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 raw, he raw edge hem um, that's like, you know, coming out. This blown out knee supposed to be there. I found stock photos of this and that's, this is actually what's on the, the model. So yeah, they're high waisted button fly. I think these will do okay. Even though they're we the free, they're kind of like a lower line, I think. But this is also HM, but it's HM Columbia. So, and how I figured that out, if you don't know, is I go to the back and um, it says imported HM Hennes and Maurice Columbia SAS. So, Bogata. So, uh, so yeah, I've gotten a few pieces from that were in Columbia of a skirt in my closet right now. That's really cute. And uh, it came from Columbia. I've sold a couple things, I think recently. Well, in my last What Sold video, I sold some pleather pants that were vegan leather pants that were from Sweden. And I sold them for $21. So, I mean, sometimes you can get pretty good money. And I, I don't think that's bad for H&M, honestly. But I like the style of that. So this is J. Crew, and this is a size zero. This is a cute skirt, though. Probably something I will put in a flip-flop is stuff like this. Like stuff that might sit for a minute. I don't know. So um, I'm trying not to yeah, zip down the back. I'm trying not to hold on to too many things. Like I'm going to list all the shoes. Like I don't send the shoes to flip, although you can. I have before but they're heavy and clunky and they take up a lot of space. And I'm trying to do lots of 30 at a time because that's the max you can put in a lot is 30 items. Um, people say 30 pounds, but nowhere on the website or on the phone, on the app says 30 pounds, just it says 30 items. So uh, I think they're maybe thinking that everything's like a pound each, maybe. I don't know. So let me just move it around here. I'm going to take this stuff out. Oh, Okay, this is not going well. <laughs> Catastrophe. Okay, I guess I will be editing a lot. Okay, two more. Oh my god, more sweater. Oh, it's hot in this room. 
I'm wearing a sweater because it's cute. I just squirted water across everything. Um, but I'm hot. So I'm trying to be cute for you too. And not wear like a graphic tee. And wear like a cute sweater. Okay, this I can have to sweater shave the fuck out of. Um, Jacob by Mark Jacobs. I think it's a man's sweater. It's like a waffle knit. It is cashmere. Okay, floor. Um, is it cashmere? Yes, hundred percent cashmere. So I will sweater shave this. Has no holes in it, so I think that might fetch a pretty good amount. I don't know. You tell me. It, it's like, I realize that's a diffusion line. But you tell me if if uh, you tell me if it does well. Okay, and I'm pretty sure it's man. I couldn't help myself. I mean, because it's Sesame Street, and it really is Sesame Street. It is Elmo. I think there for a minute. So Sesame Street. It's a two X. So it is meant to be an adult. Um, it might be mine because I think it's a man's two X too. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's a woman's. I don't know, but I think it's cute. I might wear it for a little while. We'll see. It's over here. This one I also might wear for a little while. This is not vintage. This is a reproduction Care Bears, but it looks like, oh yeah. Um, but I like it, right? Care Bears. I'm a child. I was a child in the eighties. I mean, I was a child in the seventies, but when 780 rolled around, I was four. So uh, this is also a XXL. And this was, I think it has a, a, a date on the inside. Did it? Yeah, 2021. So, I mean, this is like new. Like it, it came out this year. So, and it looks new. Like it looks like it's barely been used at all. So yeah, I've been wearing this for a little while. And then I'll sell it when I have no idea. Okay, this is also free people. This is also extra small. You know what it looks like. There we go. It's a cow neck, like open, open sweater. It's cute though. Someone's gonna like it. And they make their stuff oversized. So if you're a medium, you can probably fit that. Um, this is Marmot. I was watching someone's haul video the other day. I don't remember who it was. And they were like, is this Marmo? I'm like, no, it's Marmot. You do pronounce the T. This is just a simple like fleece. It needs, it needs some cleaning up. It needs to be washed. Um, like some things, most things I don't wash, but some things like uh, they look a little bit dingy. I'll wash them with some um, OxyClean and it brightens them right up. This felt nice. This is, this is something. Yes, this is something. It's 100% alpaca. I don't know it has a brand. Maybe that is the brand. Hand wash, but this is like a poncho type situation. Isn't it cute? So this will be something that I would, it's brown. This is something I would end up selling. I might start using my, haven't been using my dress forms and just using hanger on my wall, but I might start using that one, especially when I move into the new office, um, which is the other room we have. This is Eddie Bauer, woman's small. It's a denim coat. So I got it. It looked good. So denim coats do well. And I think Eddie Bauer would be fine. Like, I'm thinking like $35, $25, something like that. This is Alpha Industries. I think this is actually pretty good. I think this is a good brand. You can tell me it's a size large. It's a puffer jacket. So I think it might be okay. Do okay. Let me get this up soon. Um, but yeah, you tell me if this is a good brand. I think it is. When I looked it up, it gave me into the brand. I mean, into the bag. Oh, okay. Last kid item, I think. Disney Couture. I think it's Couture. Collection by Tutu Couture. Um, how incredibly cute is that i could not i could not not pick it up because yeah some seven eight okay does that mean a seven or eight year old would wear this please tell me i'm going to look it up i'm like seven eight does it refer to because i think it refers to the age when they're this young you tell me but how adorable and this heavy thing has no belt i wish it had its belt um but i feel like it won't be a deal breaker because it doesn't have the belt but it might be i don't know this is a vintage coat. I am 100% sure this is vintage. It is leather. It is leather. Um, You can feel it. You can smell it. But it should have a belt, which it doesn't have. Hopefully, that will be a problem. I mean, you could put, like, any leather belt, like a contrasting belt. You didn't, it wouldn't have to be this color. You could put, like, a black belt with it, and I think it would look good. Or a red belt, something like that. So... Yeah, um, I, it needs some cleaning up on the leather. Looks like there's some makeup on it, which I think will clean just fine. But I love it. To measure it, it's probably a small, smaller medium. If I had to guess, it would be a smaller medium. Okay, last bag. Down here, this up here. Oh, I wonder if I could have to keep this under an hour. Let's see, because this is everything. This is Drake's London for J. Crew. So I thought this was a cute. It has giraffes all over it. How adorable. So. I mean, it's a size zero, tiny, but someone might like it. This is free people. This is medium. Okay. <laughs> this is one of those, like, they call 
bib, like bib blouses. Is that what they're called? I want to say they are called that. This is very boho, very 70s inspired, you know, it's like wearing a little doily side, ties on the side. So I thought this was cute. Couldn't say no to that. I haven't seen that much, how many of those out there, to be honest, but maybe I just haven't been looking. Okay. This is free people movement. This is an extra small but I mean, the free people movement stuff, extra small, it's always oversized. Like this, this could fit a, probably a large, honestly. It needs to be washed. Has some spots right here. Needs to be washed, which I will do. I will see and treat it and I'll get it right out. But I love, love these arms. So cool. And the back is just, all right. This is another silk top, I believe. Libby Edelman. Oh, I don't know if it's silk, but it's 1X. So Libby Edelman, I thought it was really pretty actually. It's sleeveless, but it has this like flutter sleeve at the top. Like flutter cap sleeve. Is that a thing? Am I making that up? It's polyester though. Not silk, but it's pretty soft. I just, I really love the floral pattern. That was really pretty. Like a muted, muted, um color this is unique knitwear trademark can't for sports and vacants dynamo dynamo i think this is vintage what do you think i'm thinking like it's cable knit it is 100 wool um it's a medium so it's probably a man's men's but it is 100 wool new wool oh you can't see that far okay so yeah new wool uh it's not gonna come across but that's okay um, yeah. And I know cable knit sweater. Why not? Has no stains, no holes. It looks barely used and there's no pilling like at all on it. Really? Cool. I mean, people are like, who's giving away the stuff? People are dying. So I think sometimes, I think sometimes the bins are that good because people die and they just, when people die, they donate all their clothes because they don't want to deal with it. So sometimes you get really good, good clothes because it came out of someone's really good closet. Okay. This is forever 21. However, it's Forever 21 Contemporary. It is new tag. It is a bodysuit. I thought it was really cute. So it's sheer. I can see through it. But look how cute that is. And I love the, the detail in the neck in the front. Can you see that? There we go. Um, so yeah, it's a bodysuit, but it's never been worn. At least I, I don't think it'd be worn. I don't think you could wear this with this tag attached um, and have it not. So yeah, so new tag, Forever 21 Contemporary. I'm pretty sure I can get at least $25 for that. Maybe more. I don't know. Because I know the contemporary stuff is a bit higher up. This is free people, intimately free people. So it's just a tank top. I don't probably, I probably won't get very much for this. You know, probably like 15 bucks. Tote, but I don't know. It's large. So that might help it. Usually when I find free people, it's like small, extra small, extra, extra, extra small. Five extra small. Moth. This is anthropology. I thought this was cute. Little, very sheer, it's a sheer light sweater. What size are you? You're small, but cute. Um, oh, I could not not get this. Okay, it should probably have had a belt, I'm sure. But look how pretty this is. I love the print on it. It's like a little geisha print, so pretty. I don't think it has any tag on it whatsoever. No, it doesn't. So I have no idea. But I thought it was way too pretty and it's probably cotton. It feels like cotton. It was way too pretty to leave behind. So pockets, it has pockets. So yeah. No, I don't think it has a belt. Like, I think it would have belt loops if it should have had a belt. But it's it feels nice. You know, it might be actually a linen cotton blend, the way it feels. But it's definitely a cotton. Um, This is Zara Woman. Because I cannot um, pass up a good plaid shirt, apparently. But, you know, that's paid off for me in the past, so knock it. This is St. John. I knew it was St. John before I even looked at the tag. Because I found it like this. I'm like, oh, that's St. John because that's a Santana net. And I was right. Just a basic tank top, 15, 20, 25 bucks, maybe, maybe. Um, this is White House Black Marker. I got this specifically to send to someone on flip. Um, it's large. I thought it looked cool. It's like a little over, like a little cardigan, but it's, it's neat. Like it feels, what is it made out of? Oh, I can't tell you, but you know, it has a size made in Vietnam. That's all I know. Um, but it feels like one of those like cotton and, and nylon. This is by Anthropology. So this is their newer tag, size small. I thought this was just a cool, it's, it's a little bit of an oversized top. It's it's a sweater. It's like a really, it's, it's definitely a sweater, but it's like a really like thin knit. 
like little tiny net. And what are you? Your polyester elastic visco. So it is a knit though. So I would I would classify this as a sweater. It is semi sheer though. So you need to wear like a tank top or a cami underneath of it. This is J Crew, but it's a rash guard for like um for surfing. So very. Oh, this is cool. This is like like this. It goes like this and like yeah, it, it totally wraps over itself. Anyway, it is fisherman out of Ireland, made in Donegal, size large, but it's a fisherman knit, probably it's a cable knit, that other sweater. This is Madewell, size tiny, small. So this is probably chambray. Yeah. So it's like a cold shoulder. Oh, does it have a rip on it? Dang it. I might have to fix that. Well, I'll see if I can fix it and see if it's like that noticeable. So I didn't see this at the bins, but the end here has a small rip, but I might be able to like just sew that together. And it may not be that, may not be able to see it that much. We'll see. Maybe I'll make it the same on the other side. Maybe make it look like it was supposed to be like a dart or something. We'll see. Oh, you know, oh yeah. Here it is. This is Lucky Brand. This is just a basic top though. I think it's a man's top. Oof, it needs to be washed. This one smells like B.O. Yeah, this needs to be washed. Oof, this is definitely a man's top. It's just a basic top. Um, I don't have to pick up so much basic stuff because the basic stuff tends to sit. I think this might be, this is silk. And I think this might be vintage. It is Sophisticate by Jonathan Martin. Now, Sophisticate is also lined by Pat, not Patagonia. Is it by Patagonia? No, I don't know. Sophisticates is also aligned by another like well-made brand, well-known brand. Oh, it doesn't say silk. It feels like silk though, but I just, I love the print. Love this print. So yeah, I'll just have to put in my description. It feels like silk, but okay. I wasn't sure about this. This looked to me like a lag and look type thing. Zanzia, um, it's new tag, but you know, it has that kind of lag and look minimalist look so i don't know look it up man zia clothing oh no oh i'm looking at thread up thread up is not the um look at zanzia official what's oh, aliexpress so this came from aliexpress originally Oop, what of let's see how much they sell it for originally yeah it's cheap super cheap so you know what i might do i'll just send this a swap that's what i do if i get something that's like didn't retail for a whole lot i won't even bother trying to sell it for myself I will just send it to swap and have swap deal with it. And then um, if that makes me five bucks, it makes me five bucks. It's cool. Uh, Lucky brand. This is extra large. I can sometimes fit into the extra large stuff. So yeah, I think it's good. How cute is this? Cute little boho top. I'm keeping this for myself for a little while. It's adorable. And this is Metal Rue. This is an anthropology brand. I think it is. No Rue. How pretty is it? I don't think it has any um, stains on it. it. Was when I looked, it didn't. Is there an inner tag? Yes, six six one seven zero. So yeah, I believe yeah, imported by Anthropology in the UK. So this was from Anthropology in the UK. Okay, this is just a scarf, I believe. I don't think it has a maker on anywhere. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm sure it's polyester though. It feels like polyester, which is fine. Sometimes I like to pick these up and like I can wrap, if someone has like a big bundle, I can wrap their bundle in this or something. Who knows? Okay, this, this is a rifle shotgun sack. So it was new, new tag and thought why not? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. My nose is just itching. Um, I don't know if I'll do anything with that. Okay, this is weird. This is Odell, old, old tag. Well, I don't even think this is sold at Anthropology anymore, but it was sold at Anthropology. But this is one shoulder, so has one arm. There's no arm. So I think what you do is you put your arm on this side, and then you wrap this around you, I think. We'll see. Can I try to find some sock photos of this? You know, or maybe some would put it on their mannequin. Ow. Okay, this is Torrid, super soft, plush. Wear what you love, size five. So it's a size five S. So yeah. It's a five X. Um, this will do okay because the last time I got anything that was like this, um, it was zero X, which is basically it, which is a large in Torrid. So they do use vanity sizing for the smaller, but once you get to one, just add an X. One X. I mean, they do equate it to like 18, 19 or 18, 18, 20, 20, 22, 22, 24, that kind of thing. And you can look that up on their website, but one X, one is one X, two is two X, three is three X, and so on and so forth. Unlike Chico's, which is very different how they do 
knew they were banned besides like there are three X's, like there are two X's, like a lot, I think. Or not two X's, just a two. It was like a lot. Anyway, so wait, this looks a lot, a hell of a lot like um the cardigan I I I the cardigan I sold that um was anthropology. It's not. It is Stitch Fix. I think they like to copy each other. Um, or at least Mystery, which is a stitch, stitch Fix brand. But they people do like that brand. So has somewhat of a following. Probably won't get more than $15 or $20 for this. But I like the cardigan. I thought it was pretty. Um, it is a large. So it might actually fit me. Because some of these oversized cardigans fit like a 1X. Just oh. And this is an extra large barefoot dreams. I was like, what? Extra large? This a large, extra large. This actually might go do well. So barefoot dreams, cozy, chic, super soft. It fits me. We'll see. I go, I always said that fits me. Maybe I'll keep it. No, I gotta stop doing that. I have so much stuff in my closet. Um, oh yeah, this. Okay. So it's Troubadour. I'll let you guess for a minute what, what brand that really is though, or who sells it. But I really loved, you can see the middle it's felted in the middle. So this is like, it's felted like on purpose. Like it's uh, the whole back is like that too. Well, the stripe of it in the back is like that too. So it's meant to be looking, it meant, it's meant to look like that. Okay. It's the anthropology. I didn't know that until I looked inside. I'm like, oh, the tag says anthropology. So yeah, I thought that was cool. Last couple items. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a, this is all saints, but it's a cashmere. Um, but this is my little pet project. So I have this idea, take, take the stuff that the ones that have holes. Cause you know, when you find all saints and you find cashmere and then you find it's holy as hell, holy like Swiss cheese. Um, I want to see if I can up upcycle. So I'm either going to put, I'm either going to sew them in contrasting. Like I have a couple ideas, either I'm going to sew the holes there's a bunch of them. So I'm going to sew the holes like with a contrasting like embroidery thought floss. And so it looks like, you know, there's several like stitches around um, or I'm going to put buttons on it, like different kinds of buttons. I don't know. I haven't decided, but I think I'm going to do the, the Frankenstein thing. It has like real leather patches on the, on the back. And I think it's like, it feels really soft. Um, let me see. Does it tell me cashmere? But I don't know. It has holes all over it. So I figure I can't hurt it, right? Worse that happens, I do a little bit of work to it for upcycling it and, or, or, or here's my other idea that I sew around the hole. So it still has the hole, but you sew it around it. So it's like, it looks like it should be there. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'll get some grommets and put them in there. I don't know. Um, because there's some in the armpits and stuff. So I'm going to do it and see what happens because worst, worst case scenario, it doesn't sell. Oh, well, then I spent $2 for no reason. I'm going to make my money back on this lot a bunch over. So Zara, cute. I could not say no. How freaking adorable is that? I love it. Would you, would you say this is cottage core look? Would you say that? You tell me, you tell me what the keywords would be for that. It's a small, but it still has this attached. So I don't know if I'm not going to say it's new, but it looks pretty new. So yeah, that is my haul. So like, what do you think is my best? Oh, no, 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 no. We got to, we got to do one last thing. So uh, both me and Kristen both found a different one of a, I don't know if this is real though. So you tell me Louboutin, it's Christian Louboutin. Uh, so yeah, the red heel red bottoms and it's like Paris and made in Italy size 39. So what this will end up being is an amputee uh, shoe. So I will clean it up and I will put it on eBay. I mean, I looked at some listings. Some people, some people have been able to get like a hundred or $200 for their Louboutin shoe for an amputee. Um, like there's one guy's like Louboutin shoe. He sold for $189. I'm like, what? I'm like, okay. I, I was telling my husband about it. He's like, no one's going to buy your one shoe. I'm like, yeah, amputee. And he's like, really? They're going to buy one shoe? And I showed him some solds. He's like, oh, yes, they're buying one shoe. <laughs> anyway, that's my haul. Uh, thank you for watching. If you've made it to the end of this haul, um, put in an emoji. Put in a um, hands up emoji. Yeah, that's, that is permanent marker. Uh, put a hands up emoji and uh, let me know that you made it to the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.